being a good ancestor, I guess to me is taking care of, you know, care for the land, the water, the air, and, you know, the necessities of life so that the future generations may have something. That, to me, would be a good ancestor. Taking care of something, not for yourself, but for the future to come. Well, for one viewpoint that I have is that I wish these mining companies would leave the land alone, not destroy the earth. Because actually, they're destroying life. They're destroying the mother, mother of all life. And, you know, which includes water as well, because that's part of the destruction too, because they're pumping all that water out. I would like to see the time that, you know, starting now, this minute, that all of that would cease and, you know, they don't destroy the earth anymore and they wouldn't pump water anymore and they would, you know, treat her as a mother to all life because she is a mother to all life. And once you destroy the land and the water and all of the natural things, you know, you're destroying life, including your own life the life of your future, the life of your future, the future of your own children, your grandchildren, and so forth down the line, you know. You can't do that. But one of them things is, is your language. If you know your language, use it. Be proud of it. Be able to communicate with your next door neighbor, with your children. Pass it off to your children. Pass your stories off to your children. Because as they get a little older, they're going to wonder about that. History, American history portrays the indigenous people as being dumb and stupid. You know, they didn't know too much. But in real actuality, they knew a hell of a lot more than, you know, than what people say they did. And it is your language that makes you who you are. I'd say go for it. Learn all, as much as you can. Learn your history. Learn about the past of your people. Learn the respect that they had for each other and for the land and for the water and all life here on earth. Learn those things and become, you know, part of, you know, carry the history that has been passed on to us for generations upon generations. Don't destroy it. Keep your language, your songs. I think that's very important because most of the language or most of the songs are based on the natural world. I think your language, your beliefs, and your own way of life, to me, those are the most important thing because that's, that's how our people survived and that's how they will survive sometimes in the future.